So from a racing driver's perspective, George, it's pretty straightforward, the pedal box in a Formula 1 car. The right one makes it go, the left one makes it slow down. Yeah, it's a little bit more tricky from a designer's point of view. So now a lot of the pedals are quite bespoke to each driver in order to move them forwards and backwards. We have lots of different options for the, so that we can go as far forwards and backwards as all our drivers. So I need to keep eating my veg then and grow a little bit, is that what you're saying? <laughs> <laughs> It's great to see the pedal box outside of the car, a bit of a rarity, well, especially for me, and immediately I can see there's a lot more going on than meets the eye. Well, yeah, straight away you can see how optimised all the structures are for their own purpose. They have different flags on the sides for different drivers to... By to flags, on you mean these bits? These little flags yeah. here on each side, yes, they control different heel sizes, etc. You have grip tape on each of these pads. And it's properly, it's properly it's rough. It's very rough, yeah, yeah. So this is the damper here. Yep. That's the spring there. Yep. And this is what? And um, this is a sensor here. So when we hear a fly-by wire throttle pedal, mm. that's what they're that's talking what about. They were talking it's about this, there, yes. Yeah, this sensor. You mentioned different drivers, like their pedals set up in a different way. Mm. So you got Lewis and George here this year. Yeah. Are there any differences between them? Yeah, quite a lot of differences. Some drivers will want their feet quite in line with each other. Some drivers want them offset from each other. You mean Some like them. this? Yeah, exactly, like that and like that. I've noticed that two very different materials. So you've got the carbon fibre on the left-hand side, but this is seems to be, is it yeah, aluminium? It's aluminium? Yeah, aluminium. Yeah, so the throttle pedal's aluminium. What's uh, the idea behind that then? Well, the idea is so your brake pedal withstands a lot of force. What kind of force are we looking at? Looking at sort of about 100 kilos. 100 uh, like kilos? Top, yeah, sort of top brake pressure. Particularly, you want the brake pedal to be very stiff, so carbon fibre is the perfect material for utilising stiffness to weight. So they really are completely bespoke, mm. almost infinitely tunable as well, but clearly takes time to design and implement on the car. Yeah, 100%. So I guess the next time we see a throttle pedal sensor fail on the track and car comes to a grinding halt or the pedal cam once again, we know there's a lot more going on than what meets the eye. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs>